the thing that I was really most concerned about was not about casting, getting a great cast. I mean, you can always get, there's some great actors out there. And so I, apart from having a really, really good cast, um, the, the, the biggest headache would be the alien himself, the, the eighth passenger. Um, and if I hadn't had that, it wouldn't have been the same, same film. I knew that. And when I saw Giga's stuff, I thought, this is it. And he wanted to redesign it, and I said, no, no, no. It's in a book called Necronomicon. I said, no, no, this is it. He said, no, but I can. I said, no, 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 this is it. You don't change it, just make it work. If we can make it work, that's a big enough challenge. Because then all the other elements have to be designed in between, like what does the chest burst of it look like? What does the face hug look like? What does the egg look like? And oddly enough, he couldn't get the chest burster right, so we, we, we took that away and went somewhere else for that. We, got the, we worked out the chest burst, burst on the back of an envelope. I pretty much come to the set and say, here's where you should stand, and here's where you should enter, and here's where the camera's going to be. And, and, and often I put it together right there in the room. I don't come in with a shot list. I don't come in with a schemata. It was a relief in a way not being a fantasy, which is a Prometheus fantasy. Alien's a fantasy, really. Blade Runner's a fantasy. Um, but uh, this was real, and so there was a kind of, it was easier.